Hey guys, Carl here, and today we're out at the airport because we haven't gone on a flight in a while, and today would be a great day to do that. The sun is shining, the skies are clear, and there's hardly any wind at all. So today I want to do something a little bit different. We're going to focus on takeoffs and landings. Uh, a little bit more on that in a second, but I'm going to check this plane to make sure we're ready to fly. All right, so here's how this is gonna work. I'm not teaching you guys how to land. That uh, I don't wanna do that at all. I just wanna show you how I land, how I land the plane. Gonna go ahead and do a couple of different ways. Uh, gonna do a normal takeoff and normal landing. Gonna do a simulated short field landing and takeoff, simulated uh, soft field landing and takeoff, and then we're gonna do a no flaps landing, uh, just so you guys can see what's going on with that. But uh, that's really what I wanna show you guys. I'm gonna do multiple camera angles. We're gonna show you the foot pedals. I'm gonna put a camera on my chest so that you can see what I'm seeing, uh, the gauges, where the yoke and everything is. I'm gonna do a nose profile shot so you can see what the horizon looks like as this is happening, and also how I'm lined up on the runway. Our last shot's gonna be uh, looking down at the wheels off of the wing strut on the other side of the airplane, so you can see my, what my wheels are doing, especially during those soft field takeoffs and landings, so you have an idea of, of what's happening. Also, don't judge me if I'm a little off center line and things like that. We're just looking for the fundamentals here of, of what I'm doing and what's happening. But this really is just so you guys can see see the controls, see what they look like, and hopefully it helps some of you guys out. Again, this is how I do it. You may have been taught differently, um, but I feel like I'm a safe pilot. Don't mimic me if you don't want to. All right, let's get flying. It's an airplane. Ah, that's a loud one. This is 75600, do I tell runway seven left, line up on each other, set the crop, downwind. Line up and wait, that's 75600. This is 3 kilo, runway 7 left, traffic holding in position, continue. Continue 7 left, 3 to kilo. Alright, we're just going to do a normal takeoff on this one. They uh, told us to line up and wait, so we'll just wait right here. It's one of our options. Uh, coming back here to center line. There we go. This is 6 zero, zero. follow Archer open, make left traffic, runway 7 left, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, making left traffic, following traffic ahead of me, 6 zero, zero. Kilo, runway 7 left, clear, touch and go. 7 left, clear, touch and go, three, six, All right, go. full power. We are rolling. All right, rotation speed. We will go ahead and lift off. Making sure to maintain some pressure on that right rudder so that we stay coordinated as we fly. 366, I've been Love lining up for that. So we are good and we're now on glide slope. And we're crossing the threshold now. Well, okay, now. So I'm gonna go ahead Traffic. and pull power. 12 o'clock. And we're just going to let this glide on out. I'm going to float here just a little bit. And we touch down. Perfect. Just a 600 left turn off by contact ground. Set step 5600, runway 7 left, line up and wait. Traffic just another down. We'll be doing a short approach. Line up and wait. 75600. All right, so here's what we're going to do short field. Uh, take off. We want to make sure that we're using all available runway. So we're going to come over here to the very side and make our turn. We have been given approval to line up and wait. Just the six zero short is approved. Right side left, clear for takeoff. Let's turn up. All right. So we've been clear for takeoff. Fly straight out. So we're going to go ahead and give this full power. Clear for takeoff. Seven left. Six zero zero. That's three to kilo. Right seven left. Clear. Touching gunner. All right. So we're going to come up here to fifty five. We're going to pull off the runway. Okay, we cleared our obstacle, so we're going to level off right here. Gain some speed. 
speed is good, and then we're going to continue our climb. Traffic, six o'clock. There we go. Okay, we've simulated, we've cleared our obstacles. We're gonna go power to idle. Yeah, so five zero three, number three, final assess, turning short approach base from way seven left, clear, touch and go. 60 knots on final here. Everything's looking good. Good night, tower set at six five five zero one, nine miles to the west with information, Victor, requesting touch and go. Okay. Gonna bring up our flaps. Thank you. Start getting on those. Looking good. Zero turn left, one able contact ground. Turn left, contact the ground. Six zero zero. Test seven five six zero zero. This bridge request runway seven left, clear for takeoff. Fly straight out. Fly straight out, clear for takeoff on seven left. Six zero zero. All right, so we're going to simulate a short or soft field takeoff. So we're going to have the yoke all the way back here. We're going to cut this corner because we're trying to maintain speed. We're six to your northeast. And we're going to go ahead and give this guy full power. All right, let a little pressure off right here. We should be doing a nose wheelie as soon as we lift off, which should be a little bit early. We're going to let the nose down. Yeah, we are going to gain speed you. here along the runway. We're gaining speed. Let's get our flaps up. And we will continue our climb. All right. We will go ahead and drop down here to 60 for our final. All right, soft field landing. Everything's set up. Before landing checklist is complete, runway is clear. We are prepared for a go around. Airson 503. Let's go ahead and get 60. You got to cross on Airson 503. There we go. The Valley Tower, Mooney 4049, November Anthem, inbound, Victor. All right, going to power off. Left base from way seven left. We want left parking ramp one. Thank you, sir. Barely touch down with the mains, keeping the nose off, keeping the nose off, slowing down, let it touch down, and then slow. There we go. All right, we're coming in a little fast. Here. We're back on the light slope, so we'll go ahead and burn that off. One mile on the down with the helicopter just passed behind them. All right, let's get lined up for the runway. A little fast still, which is expected. All right, there we go. Okay, we got him inside. There we go. So we're going to go ahead. We're at five zero three. Request temporary climb to three thousand five hundred. Here's on five zero three. That's a British request. Take cross turn approved. Five zero three. Grand Trade Delta's got Cessna to follow on fire. All right, and we're slow. Yeah, Grand Trade Delta. Roger, Fernando. They're just pushing I seventeen. All right, guys, that was actually quite a bit of fun, and I'm going to be completely honest with you. It's been a long time since I've done a lot of those. I've practiced one or two of them here and there, but none of them back-to-back -back like that. Haven't done that really since my uh, initial training, but it was very exciting to understand and know that I can still execute those with, I don't want to say precision <laughs> by any means, but adequately and safely, which was really what I was going for today, especially on that no flaps landing. I realized I was still coming in a little fast, made sure that by by the time I was to the runway, I was at that approach speed that I wanted to be at, knowing that I was going to be landing long and utilizing the entirety of the runway. I was still happy with how that landing happened. I'm going to go out again another time and do a couple more of these guys, but overall, excited with how today went and I hope you guys learned a little thing, couple things yourself. Not that I was trying to teach you anything, but I know that it's hard when you're trying to learn how to land and you feel like you're just not quite there and so hopefully seeing my controls and the things that were going on the decisions that i made can help you just a little hey guys guess who forgot to make an outro the last time he was here at the airport yep 
this guy. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed the video. And if you did, go ahead and throw it a like and hit the subscribe button to see what's coming up next. Also, we could really use your guys' support right now. I know, shameless plug, but we have ways for you guys to be able to help support us down inside of the description. So we would greatly appreciate it if you took advantage of those. As always, share aviation wherever you can, and we'll see you in the next one.